Welcome back. So every single class you'll ever make in C Sharp, they have, they are extending, they are using a super class, they are working, it's like, it's like a hierarchy. The top guy in the system is called object. And he has some available functions that you did not write, but because you made a class, Microsoft automatically tells you that you have these methods available. And I want to show you the methods by writing override, meaning I want to override something that the top object, you see, you can see here it says object.equals. That means that I have a superclass called object that I'm extending. We will talk about extension later, but I want to talk about the toString function. So we can actually override this function. So when we call toString on our car, then we can override how it how it works, like we do the drive method, the brake method, and we can also do a two-string method. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Let's go to the program, and let's try and do, instead of this, let's try and do a two-string here. It's a function on the car that we can do. And notice I didn't write this. It's something that I get from the object class that I'm extending automatically. That's not something you do. Every time you write a, a, a class in your system, you'll extend object behind the scenes. Let's try and run this and see what it actually does. My hope is it would write, the car is red, it has license number 303, the make is Toyota, the years, but I'm not sure it will. Let's see what happens. It writes car console model car. So it writes the name of the class, nothing else. That's just stupid. This is the uh, namespace, dot, and then the name of the class. I don't want that. I wanted you to write something else. I want when I do a two string, I want to print out the color, the license plate, and the make and the year. So what we're going to do is we're going to override the default function. And the easiest way to do that in C sharp is to write override and do a space, and then you can see all the different things that you can actually override. We're not going to touch equals and guess hash code. They're default in object. We don't want to override them yet, but we want to override two string. That's an easy one to override. So what we want to do is instead of returning the standard um, message, we want it to now re return a year, and then we want to add year here, plus, and then we want to add space, and we want to say make, and then we want to add make here, there we go, and then we want to add a space, and then we want to say color, and we want to add a color here. Again, you get the point here, right? It's not that hard. And then we want to do the license number. Oh, there we go. And then we want to add a space and do a license number here. Okay, now let's save this. And now all I've done is I've overridden the two string method. So when I run this again, instead of calling just a model like we did before, we actually get a specific license plate, color, make, and year in our program. So, that's how easy it is for you to override a function from a superclass. Don't worry, we'll get into superclasses, but you know now how to use the two string and you're almost ready for the next assignment. See you next time.